Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today I am at Sundance Orchid and Bromeliads in Fort Myers, Florida. Um, I there's gonna be a little bit a lot there's gonna be a lot more noise today in the background because I forgot my normal microphone, so I had to get a boom mic, so it's gonna be picking up everything. Um, this is, I like coming here. This is a smaller grower than some of the other places that I visited, but they have really nice orchids. The source of the orchids um, are, are very good. There's a lot of new hybrids and some old hybrids and some species here. And what I want to do is we'll kind of take a look at things. We'll focus in on the cattleyas because that's what I like, but we'll take a look at other things as well. But I wanted to start out here just so I have the sign in front of me so that I remembered where I am. And uh, let's, let's turn the camera off and we'll take a look at some of the orchids inside. Okay, so we're back. Um, and we have background music today, so yay! Um, what I wanna do is show you some of the, uh, some of the dens. So we'll start out, they have, actually it looks like they have mostly dens and cattleyas. Um, and they have a lot of, a lot of the dens are uh, antelope type dens. So these are some of the things I did almost this guy, I almost bought this den uh, right here today, but I actually looked it up. This has labeled Den Tuesday Delight, and I looked it up on Orchid Roots and couldn't find it. So I, I don't know if it's really named. I don't know where the name it came from, so I didn't buy it. But but there's a lot of um, there's a lot of dens back here. This is another small uh, antelope den right here. Look at, look at the size of this flower right here on this bit. It's a big, dark den. And you can, <laughs> you can see. Oh, there you, we go. You can see. Um, oh, and I should say that my person filming today is uh, Plant Propagator Jr. accompanying me on this trip in Southwest Florida. So, um, but there are some, there's some, I mean, yeah, this is even a different, this is a different den right here. But um, lots of very nice dens throughout here. And they seem to focus on the, the antelope dens. Uh, we can take a, look at, take a look at some of those over there. Really kind of a nice variety of, of different dens. But um, if you take a look through the remaining part of this greenhouse, um, what you can see is the there's just dens uh, all over the place. So as you go and you take a look through here, there's dents, there's, and, and there's some really, I mean, look at, look at over here. So they've got, there's a lot going on here. Uh, and there's some, there's some, as you move further down, there, these are the, uh, just these, lots of, lots of nice color here. But if you take a look at some of these other ones, um, again, most of, there's about, I think it's about maybe a quarter dens, a quarter cats and then some other some other ones mixed in so if we take a look at what else oh and there's you can take a look at driftwood general supplies right here um what else did i there's, here's a uh encyclia cochleata right here on sinium i gotta show you what what the uh, plant propagator and i picked out today so we grabbed one of these one of these oncidiums right here. It just, I think it just was reasonably priced, so it was like, okay. And uh, and she liked it, so we, we got it. But again, oncidiums right here. And lots of, uh, lots of things. So I'm gonna, we're gonna relocate to another part of the greenhouse. It's getting kind of, getting kind of loud here. <laughs> so we'll go somewhere else and I'll show you some of the cats. Okay, and we're back. And um, this one just pulls you in. And this is this is one that I have. And this is actually I have this same clone. So this is uh, and mine's about ready to bloom, but hasn't opened up. And I was going to do a video on mine, but it pales compared to to this plant. This plant currently has four open blooms. I should say this is, as you can tell from the tag there. This is amazing Thailand. Uh, the cultivar is rainbow. The clone is rainbow. And this plant has a lot of flowers on it. As you can see, and the flowers are nice. And I just love the flaring in this thing. Um, but there's not too many plants of this left. Um, this has right now four flowers open, but there are additional flowers. 
as you can see they're coming out I don't want to really highlight you know the individual orchids here I want to take a look at everything that they have but this is just a nice plant and and the reason I bring it out is because it really is impressive but a lot of the uh, a lot of the cattleyas here were produced by the same breeder and this this guy's in in Thailand and he's been very successful so as you look through here um, and this is you know I, th these plants are not blooming but you have this plant and it's the same thing it's uh, Thailand um, Miss Thailand is the name it's not amazing Thailand it's, it's Miss Thailand and then as we move down here and you could tell because um, a lot of the, the, the cattleyas have very similar features a really broad uh, lip but these are all produced by the same breeder uh, in, in Thailand um, anyway when you look at when you look at these um, the cattleyas here uh, they're all they're, they're pretty nice the plants themselves are in pretty good shape you take a look we're going to zoom in on the root systems and this just happened to be one in front but the roots are all nice and they're growing pretty uh, pretty pretty well and that's what you're looking for uh, in these types of orchids but as we look down the row um, you can see the cattleyas there not too many of them blooming so as we walk down this aisle here we have this this Cattleya, uh, this is a Nidosa cross, and these are blooming pretty well. And this is, uh, oh, this is this is Key Lime, right here, one of the Key Lime uh, Nidosa hybrids. But then as you look down, you can see, again, more, more of the hybrids. And again, we have the same type of thing here. I almost, I almost picked one of these up. Uh, and so this is Epidendrum ciliare. But I didn't pick it up because I looked it up on Orchid Roots, and I um, and, and it was actually um, some of the hybrids. It had pictures of some of the hybrids, and the features that I really liked is that frilly, you know, the frilly petals and sepals and, and the uh, oops and the lip. And they did that wasn't quite displayed in any of the hybrids. But as we take a look at here's another one. Uh, this is Volcano Red Sunset right here. As we go up and take a look at it here. But look at the, you know, the root system on these guys. These guys, they do know how to grow their orchids. I was talking to some of the people that are, that are managing these orchids. And what happened, they, they do water. They don't water every day, but they'll, they do water every, uh, some of them, they water every day. So they're Vandas here, and those get watered every day. And those look really nice also. Um, but they water, they said, every two days or every three days. But uh, again, lots of, uh, oops. <laughs> able to see too much here lots of you know lots of cat layers you know all over the all over the place here again not too many not a huge number of them blooming but I you know I got some and they're blooming oh we got to take a look over here as we go over here and I'm walking down this row of cat layers, and every once in a while you get to catch this really nice whiff of cat layers. but then over here we have and mine has mine of this hasn't bloomed but this is dick smith so um this dick smith and i should say the prices here are pretty they range quite a bit and this is a dis display plant that i just turned around not for sale but again another another dick smith so the prices of these range a bit this the dick smith here all these plants are 45 but they range anywhere from 25 30 40 45 here's a wall of a uh, you know nidosa hybrid right here let's see if i can get a good so right here but a whole wall of uh this is uh, Venosa. oh the cultivar is key lime and all these plants are 35 dollars each moving down there's just a few more flowering that i want to show you here this is and i've got a colleague that uses this a lot in his crosses so this is copper queen just a really and copper queen um, changes colors a little bit over time it also is a really good parent for hybridizing and as we move over here this is the last one that i wanted to share with you so this is sharon and i'll show you the sign sharon forsyth all right but this is a, again this is for me this is a really nice place to visit it's close it's small i can 
smaller. I mean, there's still lots of nice orchids in here. There's an, I mean, it's 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 big enough, um, but it's uh, it. This is kind of a a few hours, and I can go through here and take a look at most of the plants that they have. So it's just a nice, relaxing trip, and most importantly for me, very convenient. All right, uh, that's all I have for today. So from Sundance Orchids in Fort Myers, Florida. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did and you want to keep on seeing them, it would help me out if you could click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. All right, that's all I have for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed it and happy propagating.